Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, everyone. Mega love shout out to all the subscribers and followers of this channel. And if you are new to my channel, please. One. Subscribe. Two. Like. Share. Don't forget to ring the bell buttons for the next notification. Three. Like. Leave a comment. Subscribe. Four. Subscribe. Alright. Our lesson for today is how to find the two limits of the class interval. And this is your teacher, Marifa Donis. And welcome back to our lesson. Okay. So, we have, let's review, scores of 60 students in 30 element math. Okay, so we have here a class interval and with a frequency. A class interval with a frequency. Okay. Okay, the data represent the table at the left where the tally marks are dropped and are dropped and are called group data. So this is a group data. Now hence we call it a grouped frequency distribution. The table shows a uh, class interval starting from 10 to 11 here, no? And ending at the highest interval which is 28 to 29. The class interval are not overlapping in order that no single item can fall into classes and the class interval 10 to 11 the lower limit is 10 okay so the lower limit is 10 and the upper limit is 11 hence the lift member of the class interval is the lower limit while the right is the upper limit the difference between any two con consecutive lower limits is the class width. Okay, so 10 plus 11, so the six class width. Right, so the two limits of the class interval. Right, so the two limits of, or the class boundary. So we, we most likely we call it uh, class boundary. So this is common, no? Of a given score, is a score plus or minus? So the score plus or minus one half of the unit of the measure of the place value of the given score thus the true limits of the following scores is as follows okay so we have here 1.5 no then 5 plus 0.5 or 4.5 minus 5.5 so all you have to do is subtract 0.5 from the lower limit and subtract 0.5 or add 0.5 to the upper limit like this okay we have 5.2 so we have 5.2 plus or minus so we get less one no so you have to do is to plus and minus the upper limit and the lower limit all right so we have the true limits of the group sequence distribution of 60 students in a 30 element class okay so here, uh, if we're going to get the two limits, so as I've said, we need to subtract from the upper limit 0.5 and add 0.5 to the upper limit, okay? So that's why we got 27.5 and 29.5, okay? And then 20, for 26 to 27, so we had 25.5 and 27.5. So 23.5 and 25.5 and then 21.5 and 23.5. 20, so we have 19.5 and then 21.5. 
All right, this is correct. And 15.5 and then 1. Okay, good. All right, here, so this is the frequency and the total is N is 460. All right, so give an example. Give the two limits or class boundaries of the following. Okay. Right, so for 34, so we have 34, okay, so 30, that's it, so we, we, we need to subtract and minus, so 33.5 to 34.5. Then for 12.5, so we, uh, 12.5 plus 0.5 or minus 0.5, so 12.45 and 12.55. And for 10.45, so we got... Um, plus or negative uh, 0 0.05 so that we have 10.44 uh, for 10.445 and then for 455 okay that's it next so give the two limits or class boundaries of the n -turbal. so let's see this okay here so we have the birth weight of 50 Filipinos borns in the hospital okay so if we are going to get the boundaries here, so for we have 133.5 and then we have 139.5. So we need to just subtract and plus no, the, the boundaries. So we have for 128 to 133, so we got 127.5. Minus 133.5. Oh, no, not minus, but does, no? This does. So, 122 for 122. So, we got 121.5. And then, for 127, so we have 127.5. Then for 116, we have 115.5 and then 121.5. Next, for 110, so we have 109.5. Then 115. Five. Okay, next, one hundred three point five, one hundred nine point five. For ninety eight to one hundred three, so we have ninety seven point five. Then 103.5. Okay, for 92 to 97, so we got 91.5 and 97.5 for the upper limit. And then we have 86.5. Uh, sorry, we have. Uh, this, this it should be uh, one eighty five no eighty five point five okay eighty five point five and ninety one point five okay so that's how we get the uh, true limits or the class boundaries of the class interval. So, you have to do is subtract uh, 0.5 from the lower limit and add 0.5 to the upper limit. Okay, so we have here, uh, so find the class boundaries of this following. So, um, just in case uh, you don't yet understand, so we need to, uh, so this is the class boundaries. No. Boundaries. So, 
So 45 to 51, so we have 44.5, then 51.5. Then 37.5 to 44.5. This will be 30.5 and this will be 37.5. And then we have 23.5 to 30.5, 7, oh, this is 16.5 to 23.5, and then 9.5. To 16.5 okay so that's it how to get the boundaries I hope you already familiarized with it so for so again before I go please uh, don't forget to subscribe like share don't forget to ring the bell buttons for the next notification three like leave a comment and subscribe Four. Subscribe. Okay. For questions and clarifications, write it at the comment section. Remember, gratitude is the best attitude. So don't forget, guys. Thank you so much to all everyone. Please continue study. So. Uh, uh, school year is almost done, so please study harder, okay? Bye, everyone. See you all.